Hi there, thanks for joining in and welcome to Codebox. In this tutorial, we will walk through how to do pagination with PHP and MySQL. If you want to follow along, the code download is on the Codebox website. Link in the description box below. Step 0. Dummy Data. Before we begin, let us create a dummy users table. There are only two fields here. The ID, primary key and auto increment. The username, and that's it. Next, we will generate 100 random users and import them. With that, we are ready for the pagination script. Step 1. Connect to the database. This part should be very straightforward. Define the database settings. Then, simply connect to the database. Step 2. Calculate the total number of pages. First, we define the number of entries to show per page. In this example, we will set it to 10. Next, get the total number of entries from the database. This can be done with a simple count star SQL query. Lastly, the total number of pages can be calculated. Take the ceiling of the total number of entries, divided by the number of entries per page. In this example, we have 100 users and 10 entries per page. So, that should be 10 pages in total. Step 3. Get the entries for the current page. First, we will use the get page parameter as the current page. If this is not set, we will assume it is page 1. Then, we will use a SELECT SQL query to get the user entries.
but as you can see, this will simply get all the users. To fit pagination into the picture, we need set a limit on the select query. For you guys who are new, limit takes in two numbers, X and Y. X is the offset, and Y is the number of rows to extract. For example, we need to extract the first 10 rows for the first page. That is 0 offset, and 10 rows. For page 2, we need to extract entries 11 to 20. That is offset 10, and 10 rows. For page 3, we need to extract entries 21 to 30. That is offset 20, and 10 rows. To put this rule into mathematical terms, limit x is the current page minus 1, multiplied by the entries per page. And limit y is simply the number of entries per page. Step 4. With the results on hand, all that's left is to output the results nicely in HTML. Then, build the pagination links itself. With that, we have come to the end of this tutorial. Thank you for watching. Thumbs up, subscribe, and hit that notification bell if you want to learn more. See you in the next one.